Block 1. Cable Preparation Prepare the cable taking into account the appropriate distances. Clean and remove the original jacket with the appropriate tools and techniques to avoid damaging the internal conductors. Block 2. Internal splice, power conductors, grounds and monitor. Remove monitor and ground cables using ply tough vinyl tape to fix them on the back. Cut the conductors to the appropriate length and remove the shielded layer of the conductors and fix it using ply tough vinyl tape. Remove the conductor insulation according to the butt connector to be used. The appropriate Plymouth mining connector kits are recommended. Crimp the power conductor connector. Apply several layers of ply tough PVC tape over the butt connectors. Apply several layers of linerless L969 rubber tape to rebuild the insulation layer of the conductor cable. Use 15 ply braid to rebuild the shielding layer of each conductor. Terminate the power conductor cable by applying ply tough vinyl tape. Splice the monitor and ground conductors making sure that they're placed in the valley between two power conductors as originally seated. Follow the technical instructions included in the Plymouth Mining Kit. Block 3. Insulating and Jacketing Repair Clean and prepare the jacket using the solvent wipe and sandpaper included in the Plymouth Mining Kit. Alternatively, a rasp can be used. Bind the cable assembly with Plymouth Linerless L969 rubber tape. Stretch and overlap the tape according to Plymouth rubber recommendations. Apply several layers of Plymouth rubber mastic tape, reaching a diameter equivalent of the original cable. Apply Plymouth GLF2 jacketing tape to build up the cable jacket. Finish the splice using ply tough at both ends to achieve a smooth surface between the original jacket and the GLF2 jacketing tape. The splice is now finished and the cable is ready for operation.